him. Yeah, but I feel like, okay, we actually do see Vivi picking new Lucario, and I do agree with Carflow going Krom over Roy. Krom is going to have a bit more of a consistent time killing uh, Lucario. doesn't have to worry about Sour Spots, which was what I was worried about about VV picking Lucario, is Carfil plays these incredibly momentum-based characters who get in and they explode you. Now I do. Now I do respect the uh, the the crom the, the crom pick, and I, and I do agree with, with the thought process behind it. But the only but the only th um, concern I have is is, is crom's uh, recovery options. If Lucario pushes him off stage even once, okay, then he then he's most likely dusted. Yeah, it is gonna be rough, especially already. We can see um, Carflo trying to throw out that. Uh, reversal, but that's something that he's going to have to be pretty careful about. I don't believe that uh, Krom's up B has the same super armor that Roy's does, so he's going to have to be a little bit more careful. And of course, it's much more punishable once he lands. Ooh. Gets the downer one into side B. That is going to be VB taking first stock. Ooh, pump. Palm the face. You, you hate. You hate to see it. Oop, but the you, jab back air. Carflow bringing it right back. No aura for you right now, Vivi. You also. You also hate to be the uh, to be a victim of of uh, F to the back of the back air. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's rough for everyone out here. Oh man, but uh, just like that, it's it's back to being even. Oh, that. That ambitious uh, up B though. <laughs> yeah, that is that is another reversal um, attempt by Carflow, thwarted by VV as it just whips entirely. I feel like Carflow's really got to be careful about throwing out all these kind of random reversals. Oh, let's see. Oh man, uh, he has a lot. There's a lot of swinging and uh, and, and Lucario is, is just is blocking. If nothing else, I, I, can, I can at least say that uh, Vivi is, is respecting uh, um, Crom's options. Yeah, and Vivi's been playing it so well around Carflow at the ledge. We saw the way that Vivi got off the ledge uh, when they were last on the left. Carflow just kept trying to jab Vivi, and Vivi was at the perfect space to, you know, dash in shield, dash in shield, and eventually made their way back into center stage. Carflow just kept, just kept knocking at that door, and no one's home. Let's go. Yeah, man. Uh, ooh, nice. Uh, ooh, good grab. Nice. So, uh, so right now, there's, there's still pretty much a, a, a high percent. Technically, uh, but Lucario would have... Uh, very dead. It's just a run up side B. I feel like uh, Vivi recognizing that Carflow may be a little bit uncomfortable on the approach right now. Ooh, what a great aura sphere there to catch the no tech. Lucario snuffed snuff the fear. Ooh, okay. and, and goddamn, Krom smelled blood. <laughs> yep, <laughs> smelling a similar no tech from Vivi. Gonna be getting Carflow that second stock. That is Aura off the table, and only 40% Vivi was able to get with the extra credit. So Carflow definitely not looking too bad here in this game one, especially as he's getting a nice ladder. Uh, man, uh... Krom over here is, is throwing out all, all, all the up airs at Lucario. Yep. yep, great parry there from Vivi, trying to keep Carflow uncomfortable on these approaches. Because I feel like you know once he's once they're able to do that, then it gives Vivi more time to do things like that. The Aura Sphere pressure so scary. Once you get tapped by that Aura Sphere charge, it, it feels like you're in a guessing game, and Vivi can just spin the wheel of options and. Yeah. Oops, it landed on run back F smash and you died because you air dodged. And, and what people don't know is, is, is that all the options in, in the lottery reel is die. <laughs> They're all <laughs> death. <laughs> They're all just different flavors of death. Which one would you like? You you, you may have that one option quote, where that, you know, you might live. It might be a 50-50, but no, it, it, it'll, it, it'll soon switch over to death. Yeah, you one get that, that, that $1 million on the wheel of fortune or whatever. Just that tiny little <laughs> sliver of hope. Uh, so right now, we are going with a salty run back on, on, on PS2. Uh, I am not sure if, 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 if I agree with this, but at the same time, uh, where else would you even take a Lucario at? 
I feel like, again, we we unfortunately do not know what the bands were uh, from Vivi. I have to imagine that some of the smaller stages were banned. Um, probably small battlefield. I feel like I feel like in this matchup, a smaller stage is probably what Carflow wants. He's gonna want to keep up that pressure. Wants to get those earlier kills to make sure that VV can't get that aura. The read from the future. <laughs> and there we see Carflow making sure that VV can't get the aura, and this is huge for Carflow. VV has to work incredibly hard or take a lot of damage in order to get Carflow's first stock. While Carflow, on the other hand, able to just rack up all of this damage with a great ladder, already getting maybe to 60%. Yeah, like my guy, like like uh, Crom's over here, trying to make a fur coat um, of uh, 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 Kara's body, uh, you know, for, for, for the winter travel. Like, 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 like my man just keeps swinging. Yep. And like I mentioned, Carflow scales up there so hard, it does five damage sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> It's a good move. I don't see the problem. If it if it isn't broke, don't fix it. <laughs> All right. See. Man. Yeah, it is so it, stale right now. You uh, know, it, pressure up air might have killed there, it's, but you know, it's, it's a good thing. It's a Lord's weapon um, because of that durability. But damn. oh, that's true. <laughs> that's that's one of those those plot weapons that never breaks. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Oh man, that that shield. Well, that shield is not is no longer a factor because he goddamn died. Yeah, at that point, I feel like Carflow really just had to parry uh, because it would have shield poked. It potentially could have shield broke. I don't know. I don't think the projectile does that much shield damage, but he definitely could not have jumped. And rolling or spot dodging would have been super risky. You would have had to time that perfectly. I, so that was just kind of checkmate for VV. Yeah, I believe in, in those situations uh, with, with, with the aura ball like that, it would it, it wouldn't it wouldn't break the shield. Oh, that death. Uh, it, it wouldn't break the shield, but but it but it would eventually uh, could do damage to them, sucking them in, and, and then uh, VV does the Lucar Lucario combo things. Yeah, gets the like a weird ladder with aura sphere charge because that's just a thing that this weird character can do. Hey, man, th this character needed buff. He needed something. He needs it. <laughs> All right, so minimal aura on VV right now, meaning that Carflow doesn't have to be as scared. But, I mean, he's got to get he's got to get these kills ASAP the way that he did in the first stock. Like that! Just like that! I'm... So, um... Someone said, man, but that, that them up air stales, um, um, them up airs, okay, we're, we're, stale, we're stealing that sword, man, but it looked the clean as hell okay, with that cut. A wise man once said, never tech roll to ledge against Kramer Roy. <laughs> and you, you see, your actions have consequences. We can do that. We Okay. Thanks, John. <laughs> Uh, come on, come on, John. And that's the only character that matters in this conversation. <laughs> uh, Not the two characters on screen. Uh, yeah, WeFit trainer. How do we, that's, uh, you know, always, how do we bring it back to WeFit? <laughs> it all comes full circle, just like the sun. Yeah, like we fit sun salutation. Exactly. Of course. Game three. I I disagree with, with with all of this, but I but I will but I will speak more of it later on <laughs> as, as we go to game three, right? Yes. Yep. Game three coming right back to Pokemon Stadium to be with a fresh coat of paint. I think I think that was a color swap, but I don't I don't know. <laughs> I mean I mean he needed it. His fur coat was getting diced up by Chrome because uh, round two he needed a, a, a new coat. Yeah, I know we got that Street Fighter 6 battle damage. <laughs> uh, but, well, let's see here. Uh, um, Krom over here swinging once again. Up air, up air, up air. What, once again. They keep coming. Man, it, it's showing a cut that the Lord's sword never, cut, cut never dulls. All right, but I mean, you know, when it's so stale, it's not killing. At this point, you know, Vivi's just getting that aura and if you're not even able to confirm it into like a frame trap and vv's now back at center stage there we go a wise man once said never tech roll to ledge against Krama Roy. vv didn't and now he's alive and could potentially kill carflow <gasps> not able to get it that time wisely spot dodging the side b there 
The wise man also, also says you, you only mine it if you're a bitch. <laughs> True. Ooh, trying to get that mini F tilt there, which I definitely would have killed, but that time using the insanely huge hitbox of the Aura Sphere to get Carflow's first stock, but a jab back air. Carflow bringing this right back to even. This is anyone's game three. Mm -hmm. I, I'm really liking uh, uh, the adaptation of, uh, fr from both these two as, uh, as far as the confidence of, and, and the choice of moves of that they're doing. And, uh, Kron oh, let's see, Carflow over here, but trying to see if he go up with, with, the up air, with the up air strings. Yeah, and now I think we're seeing maybe Vivi a little bit uncomfortable in this neutral. We're seeing a lot of, you know, sitting in shield, trying to wait for Carflow to do something that he shouldn't. And Slow, slowing down. Yeah, it's like... Yeah, no, and I mean... There we go, trying to throw out a uh, preventative aura sphere, but Carflow not biting. But keeping things even, catching a jump from ledge. This is where BB has been doing so well, is in, is when he's in advantage. All right, another F throw putting Carflow at ledge, trying to reset the situation, but a great uh, get up attack from Carflow. Ooh, that, that, was, that, was, that was pretty close. But, uh. Yeah, I, I, I do feel like okay, Vivi is, is now trying to search for something specific, but the only thing okay, he, he saw was, 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 was that sword on, on his face. Yep, Vivi's been doing that particular extreme speed a lot. I feel like he hasn't been going to ledge very much. They've been doing that extreme speed, you know, trying to go past the ledge. Because extreme speed is such a, you know, a very tricky move, but if you're doing the same option again and again, especially against a character who can put out those large, long-lasting hitboxes, like a crom bear, you know, you're gonna run into trouble. And and trust me, the last thing anyone okay, wants wants to be okay, the other side of it is uh, it's, it's a strong back air from crom or Roy. Ooh, what a read with the downer. Maybe has the aura now, but Carflow has the kill in his sights. Ooh. Oh, that was a. Just a regular grab. I thought that was a force bomb, but maybe going for the safer option there. Trying to reset the situation. He has the giant aura sphere, and that's all it needed, or all they needed to get that second stock. Carflow now on his last stock as well. Has to deal with Vivi at high aura. Even even though Carflow uh, is at zero percent, uh, Vivi does have the aura to actually turn us around. But it all depends on whether or not he he, he gets back on stage and. And, and not get hit by the up airs. <laughs> Ooh, yep. Ooh, Ooh, looking the, for a read right there. That the, absolutely would have put Carflow in a bad spot. I don't know if it would have killed. It might have. You know, this is Lucario. Yeah, man. But but uh, Carflow is showing, man, that, that, that he got, that he got still caught the, the, the better future reads. <laughs> yep. This time, though, BB going to ledge doesn't want to get hit by the same read that cost them their second stock. I, I really like the, the weaving left and right with, uh, with the aura charges. <gasps> oh, oh, the same read! The same read that I think got them game one. Yes. Catching yes, the, the aura sphere charge, reading the air dodge in, getting the F smash. So clutch from VV. And it really felt like Vivi had to play from behind that entire last stock, which, which I really did respect uh, because uh, let's, because Carflow was on was on his last stock. By then, uh, Vivi already had like eighty to, to ninety percent, so he had, so he had the, the the tools needed to to, to really blow up uh, Carflow. So all he needed to do was, was play was play patient and look for key opportunities of of, of, of trades of course, that would be in his favor. Yeah, and I mean, it really <coughs> felt like it came down cool. to, that was such a good read by Carflow. It felt like it came down to the way that Vivi was keeping Carflow in disadvantage. We would very frequently see Vivi would go for options that would reset Carflow at the ledge because that is where Lucario is at his scariest, especially when he's got high aura like that. So, you know, great stuff from Vivi recognizing you know, the win condition of their character, which, mm -hmm. you know, they've been playing Lucario for the, the dang long time, so... And and props to Carflow Club for for being so dominant Club, with uh, with Krom Club, from start to finish on, on all three of the rounds. Never once, I never saw him actually get gimped or or put in a bad situation when he was, like, whenever he, he was, like, off stage or, or like, recovering, actually. 
Yeah, I do feel like the way that that match came down to was Vivi was just a little better at using their advantage to move themselves further towards the win condition. Where, as we saw with Carflow, a lot of Carflow's game was the up air, you know, keeping Carflow in advantage. But at the end of the day, it wasn't killing. And the staler it got, the further it got from killing. And it just wasn't moving him towards the win condition of kill Lucario early.